वेलकम टू दी येट एन अदर सेशन ऑफ द क्लिनिकल सिनारियोज एंड गाइज दिस इज योर केस नंबर फोर्टीन नाउ हेयर वी हैव अ सिक्सटी फाइव ईयर्स मैन कमिंग टू द क्लिनिक विद द ग्रेजुअल ऑनसेट ऑफ ब्लड विजन सो हेयर यू हैव ग्रेजुअल डेमिनेशन ऑफ विजन ओवर द पास टू मंथ्स now he is also having difficulty in driving at night and especially reading the fine print his past medical history is notable for diabetes and hypertension so you are having the positive history of diabetes and hypertension you are having gradual diminution of vision especially having a problem in the dim light driving and reading the fine print the patient's medications includes the ramipril and metformin so they are for diabetes and hypertension vitals are normal and the best corrected vision in the right eye is 20 by 80 and in the left eye it is 20 by 100 so these 20 by 80 and 20 by 100 are the equivalents of the snellens chart because you know in the western countries we are using the distance in foot so 20 by 20 is the normal visual acuity now this patient is not having the best corrected visual acuity to be 20 by 20 and you know if the best corrected visual acuity is actually 20 by 20 that most probably the patient is having refractive error so this patient who is having a gradual diminution of vision especially having a problem in the dim light he is a known diabetic and a hypertensive he is not getting corrected by the refraction so that means no refractive error then you are having the ophthalmoscopic examination with the pupillary dilatation so that is showing the loss of transparency of the lens in both the eyes i think this line has said too much there is loss of transparency in both the eyes so basically this is your lens opacification so if you are having the lens opacification what is this this is actually the cataract what is this it is the cataract the red fundal glow is normal but you are again having the problems to visualize so what is the most likely diagnosis cataract crvo or macular degeneration or the open angle glaucoma now though you know that it is cataract okay <clears throat> let's see other options also they are saying crvo now typically you know that whether it is crvo or it is crao whenever you have vascular occlusions this can actually lead to the sudden painless sudden painless diminution of vision so this is actually ruled out because this patient is having gradual onset of blurring of vision especially he is having a problem in the dim light he is a diabetic he is a hypertensive and the vision is not improving after the refraction okay now if i talk about the macular degeneration now macular degeneration will lead to the selective central diminution of vision selective loss of the central vision because here macula is affected so though macular degeneration can take place at the age of 65 years but then you are not going to get the details difficult to visualize what are the kind of degeneration we can have so a patient having the degeneration at this age will be armd that is your age related macular degeneration this is common after 60 years of age this is equal in males and females usually it is bilateral and also it is symmetrical not only bilateral but also it is symmetrical now moreover this armd can be of two types so this armd can be of two types one is your dry armd and another is the wet armd dry armd which is also called as geographic armd okay so this geographic armd is the most common type 
that you are going to get in about 90% of the cases while the wet ARMT is found only in the 10% of the cases. So this geographical ARMD that you are getting in 90% of the cases, this should give you the drusens. So here they have not talked anything about the drusens. Drusens are you know typical deposits which are present between the RPE layer and the Brooks membrane of the choroid. Brooks membrane of the choroid. So you are not getting here. Then you should get any areas of the atrophy. You will get the areas of what you called as irregular pigmentation. So I am not getting any such history or any such sign. So this is not dry RMD. Now wet ARMD is one thing which is causing the severe diminution of vision. Okay, this will cause severe diminution of vision because here we are getting CNVM. Now, this is again a word that you will get typically if it is a case of the wet ARMD. CNVM, this is your choroidal neovascular, choroidal neovascular membrane. So, we are going to get typically choroidal neovascular membrane that will cause severe severe diminution of vision so obviously this is not macular degeneration then you have open angle glaucoma now if i talk about the open angle glaucoma the primary open angle glaucoma which is also called as chronic simple glaucoma this is also called as chronic simple glaucoma so what is this chronic condition a simple condition chronic means it is causing a gradual diminution of vision simple means that it is not having any congestion there is no congestion and therefore it is painless so it is causing gradual painless diminution of vision and moreover because it's a glaucoma so it should have at least two criteria at least two criteria out of the three criteria what are three criteria the raised intraocular pressure the optic disc changes and the visual field defects so out of these three criteria the patient should have at least two criteria there will be gradual painless diminution of vision it is again equal in males and females it is common after 60 years but no lens opacification so the question straightforward says that there is a lens opacification the media is hazy details not clear they are not giving you any evidence of the characteristics of the triad so this is not glaucoma so now you are very very clear what is the answer to this question answer to this question is actually the cataract now if I talk about this cataract you know the 65 years male is very very common to have the senile cataract in fact I can say that the most common cause of the blindness in India. Most common cause of blindness not only in India but also in the world is actually the senile cataract. So if I go with the senile cataract now let us see are these things matching. So this senile cataract can lead to gradual onset of blurring of vision. He will have a problem in driving at the night because you know when there is a lens opacification especially if it is the central opacification that will lead to the scattering of the light. So main problem the patients facing in the central opacities is actually the problem in night driving. Then he is also having a problem in fine read, uh, reading the fine prints. Okay, you know what are the risk factors of cataract? Risk factors is your age, then you have genetic predisposition, diabetes, diabetics also have cataract. So, diabetic cataract, if I am talking about the diabetic cataract, diabetic cataract can be of two type. One is your pre-senile cataract, which is much, much more common than the second called as snowflake cataract 
the diabetic cataract may it is more common to have the presenile cataract uh, don't get confused and say snowflake is more common no this is actually rare but it is more specific it is the fancy name of the cataract that you are typically getting in the patients of diabetes but it is much more common to have the presenile cataract so presenile cataract which is much more common than the snowflake cataract and you are getting the fluctuation fluctuation of the refractive error that is typically you are going to get in these patients that is called as the fluctuation of the refractive error now this patient is already having diabetes hypertension then uh, you know age is already a risk factor we have ultraviolet radiations then you can have the dietary deficiency even the dietary deficiencies of the vitamins of the minerals these can also lead to the early cataract why which vitamins the vitamins which are involved in the antioxidative mechanism like uh, we can have the beta carotenoids beta carotenoids then we have vitamin b vitamin c vitamin e all these are also involved so if there is a dietary deficiency of these vitamins then also we can precipitate the cataract formation so this patient uh, is having uh, the diabetes hypertension he is already on the drugs then he is not showing any improvement of the refraction the best corrected visual acuity is 20 by 80 and 20 by 100 clear cut they are saying that there is a loss of transparency there is a hazy media so you are left with the clear cut answer the option number a that is cataract in case of any doubt you can always ping me up in uh, any of the links you people must be connected with me at all these channels and uh, whatever platform you feel comfortable you feel like you can always raise your query ask me your question give your uh, expert comments uh, we always welcome your feedback how do you like the clinical scenarios what else you want uh, so that I can help you even more because you know uh, in the upcoming next pattern of exam more and more questions are actually expected from ophthalmology there are going to be uh, 60 questions from ophthalmology and next pattern says that you will be having more analytical comprehension based clinical scenario based questions so this is a small attempt from my side help you uh, approaching this clinical scenario questions. Thank you and happy ophthalmology.